What up everybody, it's your boy Ivo, welcome to my music corner. I have had bad acne for the past couple of weeks, that's why I have been absent from making videos. Now you're gonna tell me, Ivo, we love you for who you are. You shouldn't have hidden from us. I hid from myself. So yeah, right now I have this thing over here, but you're not gonna care about it because I don't care about it, is that right? Okay, it's a very busy day, I just had a banana. In 45 minutes I'm getting my tattoo retouched. I got a tattoo. And we are here to talk about the worst songs of 2018. Now this isn't a top 10 list. I'm not going to be going down number 10, number 9, number 8. What we are going to do is we're going to talk about the worst songs or the most annoying songs that aren't particularly bad. They're just super annoying because they were overplayed. Girls like you. <coughs> First of all, let me tell you that 2018 was one of the greatest years in music. That's just how I feel. So much good music was put out. So I'm a huge fan of music in 2018, don't get me wrong. But these songs that I'm gonna mention, they were accidentally put out. <laughs> First up is Te Guste, Te Guste, whatever, by Bad Bunny and Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez, what's up with you? Why are you following the trends? Like, in 2014, she collaborated with Iggy because Iggy was popping. They did booty. And to be honest, booty with Pitbull was 10 times better. Can I get an amen up in here? Amen. This year, she collaborated with Cardi B on Dinero. Cardi B is popping, so they collaborated. Now, Dinero is a cute bop, but Cardi sounds kind of odd in the song. It's like the studio was not a high-end studio and the vocals just didn't sound really polished. And now she did a collaboration with Bad Bunny, who is the dominant Latin pop star right now. He's a rapper, I know, but he's a star, whatever. Now, Bad Bunny is honestly at the top, and he is becoming a crossover with I Like It on Cardi B and Mia with Drake. That's an annoying song, too. <laughs> but I liked Bad Bunny on Mayores with Becky G. But lately, I have a difficulty digesting his vocals, especially on the Auguste. Now, this could have been the biggest Latin hit Jennifer Lopez would ever have and I know she was dying to have a Latin hit. I know that. But it seems like it's a Bad Bunny featuring Jennifer Lopez song because Bunny is all over the song and his voice is so annoying. Now, Bad, I don't have anything against you if you see this video. It's highly unlikely but just saying. It's just the way you sing or rap is freaking annoying, okay? And it just ruined the song. The music video was okay-ish because Jenny was in it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Te Guste has to be the biggest bummer, the worst song of the year for me. Roll the credits! Okay, a song that I saw on... Okay, that was my kitty cat, pussy cat. I let the pussy out, we are back. <laughs> All right, a song that I saw on a lot of worst songs list is Supplies by Justin Timberlake. I have forgotten this song, honestly. To be more frank, I even forgot that JT put out music this year. But yeah, his album Men of the Woods was a mess altogether, can we agree on that? And Supplies is just, it's a mess. It's not unlistenable, you can listen to it, but it's annoying. Like, he is trying to be hip on this trappy beat and it's not crossing over successfully. He sounds like a 60 year old trying to rap to Panda or whatever, you know, it just, it just doesn't sound good. And then comes the chorus where he sings supplies. <laughs> what the hell was that? Who thought that would have been a great idea? Pharrell, was that you? Like, you gave us Havana last year, but this year you were kind of lackluster, like Supplies, uh, Sagria Wine could have been a little bit more polished, you know what I'm saying? The light is coming. But the video is dope AF. It sucks that he had to give so much money to a video for a song that basically, basically did nothing for him. I cannot speak this morning. Nah, now that we're talking about JT, Filthy. That's not even a song. Like. The robotic vibe and everything. No, 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 no. And he's not even trying to sing on this song. He's like, put your fear the end of love. Me. He's, you know what? He's really trying. And you can tell he's trying. I give you C plus for effort. 
Yeah, Feel Free is number two on my worst songs list. Oh my gosh. When that song came out, I was so excited for JT because I really like his voice and he's handsome. But I got so disappointed. I was like, the fuck? I feel like I'm betraying myself. But Fifi is on this list. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I'm the biggest Nicki Minaj fan. But Fifi by Tekashi69, like, oh my gosh, these rappers these days, Tekashi6969. It sounds like a username. Are these rappers running out of names on the catalog and they have to register new usernames? I don't get it. I could be a rapper. My name would be Lara Croft98. We're not here to talk about names, okay? Let's talk about the song. The only reason I listened and streamed the song Fifi was because of Nicki Minaj. And still, I don't think this was one of the best verses that she has put out, Nicki. <clears throat> I mean, the song is catchy to a certain extent. But it's also freaking annoying, and he is freaking annoying, and <laughs> at least it was a hit, and Nikki got her coin. Okay, another song that I don't consider a song is Bitch I'm Bella Thorne by Bella Thorne? <laughs> if I had to conduct a top 10 list, I wouldn't put that song on the top 10 list, because I don't consider it a song. It wasn't a song made to top the charts and dominate the radio. It was just a joke, right? Oh, she was serious about this. <laughs> and now I'm gonna talk about a song that I don't think it's particularly, 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 I'm not English. A song that I don't think is bad, but it's not worthy of the top spot for seven weeks on the Billboard charts. Girls Like You. I mean, the song is cute. You can listen to it while you drive somewhere. Honestly, seven weeks at number one, are you kidding me? Why? Cardi doesn't fit on the song. When she comes in, it just feels so rushed and unfinished and out of place. I mean, her verse, verse is cute, but Cardi is hood. She's hood. She's not, not too long ago, I was dancing for dollars. This was the most trashy lyric that she could have said on a PG-13 song, right? It was so overplayed, overhyped, overviewed, over everything. I'm over the song. We're down to the last song. And I believe that this song, the mentioning of this song will bring a lot of dislikes to this video. Ariana Grande. Sweetener. Oh, you thought I was gonna say the light is coming, but the light is coming actually grew on me. It has a vibe. A song that doesn't have a vibe is Sweetener. The title track. Don't get me wrong, I love Ariana. She has put out one of the greatest LGBT anthems. I think she's a gay icon, honestly. But Sweetener... What the hell was that mess? It starts off with an old school vibe, I can appreciate that. But then it goes into this trappy, hit it, slap it, fuck it, do it, yeah, yeah, mm, mm, Sweetener in my life. But yeah, let me drop this. I dropped it, and I'm gonna drop this. Ariana. I read a tweet the other day that said if Ariana can top the worst lists and the best lists then that sums up the Sweetener album <laughs> and I agree because <laughs> Sweetener has God is a woman it has no tears left to cry it has uh, better off oh every time every time that's about that's about and then she has songs like blazed and <clears throat> the light is coming R E M rem I don't get that song either. So yeah, these were my most unbearable songs, to put it a better way, of 2018. I wanna know what's your top worst song of 2018. Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you agree with my opinions. Of course, you don't have to, because this is my opinion. Most of the artists that I mentioned in this video, I listen to weekly. I mean, Ariana, God is a woman. I've mentioned God as a woman five times in this video. So. so yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna drop my best songs of 2018 video. To that video, I'm gonna make a top 10 list. So it's gonna be a countdown because I have a lot of songs that I actually love and it's gonna be so difficult to make that video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the thumbs up button or the dislike button if you didn't agree with my opinion. I don't have insecurities, hit me. Subscribe to support my little corner. My social media links are in the description as well. I have another channel that I rarely post, but at one point I am gonna, 
right here. Also, I have a Twitter poll running right now for best uh, male and best female artists of 2018. So make sure to go to my Twitter page and vote on them polls because those videos are coming up next week and you're gonna decide who is the best because my opinion and my channel is like, it's time to wrap up. Okay, time is running up. This is goodbye. Thank you so much. Who am I? I don't know. Certain situations channel different personalities. That's why I have to change accent. And I wonder why I don't have a boyfriend. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Okay, bye.